Many fire scenes dictate the use of turnouts on or near the water. What happens if you were to fall into the water? What are the best ways to use PFDs with turnouts? Will self-contained breathing apparatus work underwater? To answer this question, certified dive rescue personnel from Gresham Fire and Emergency Services set up a series of experiments to find out what happens when a firefighter goes into the water with full turnouts and SCBA. This is what was found. The uh, first drill where we just did the turnouts. Buddy, look at the turnouts they gave us. This is also set to train for these new ones. Okay. Ah! Swimming, pretty much not an option. Your mobility is really reduced. Buoyancy, it's negligible. It's not much different than being in without turnouts. It's just mainly cumbersome. So you have a few min minutes when you first go in that air is trapped in the upper part of the jacket and that actually works to your favor, but then once that's gone, you're probably maybe a pound negative. Life jacket on the inside was actually good. It does a couple things. It, at least it felt like it keeps it contained. So if, if someone's going to a call, and obviously people aren't going to get their, one, the PFDs aren't gonna be perfectly fit to them. Two, they're not gonna necessarily realistically take the time to tighten up their, their PFDs perfectly. So the vest on the inside actually holds it in place a lot better and makes it less critical that you get it tightened up perfectly. It also seems to trap a little bit more air uh, around the PFD on the inside of the coat. So it contains the PFD better and it seems to hold air better. You definitely get your face up out of the water. Um, as far as with both of those, when you do swim, address before that, that freestyles, arms over the top is pretty much impossible. Uh, you can breast stroke. That uh, seems to work okay. The best thing was actually rolling back on your back. One, it, for comfort level, it gets your face up out of the water. And two, uh, it tends to maximize your buoyancy when you're, uh, when you're trying to get yourself you're out of the water. Essential. Yeah, you're ferry angling, basically. As far as the PFD just on the outside worked, you, it still gave you good buoyancy. It got you up out of the water, but again, it feels like the PFD is more functional underneath the turnout coat. It, it doesn't ride up as much. It traps the air in, excess air around the PFD. It traps it, holds the PFD in place. And, uh, and you don't have the, the, the cumbersome nature of PFD straps getting caught under, and SCBA straps caught under PFDs and everything getting tangled up. Um, one thing I did notice also was that between a buckle system or a zipper and a buckle, the zippered vests are a lot better. Uh, having the SCBA is one of the things that uh, Portland Fire also found this when they did their drill, and, and it kind of reiterated with us, was that you can breathe just fine. The, it seems that when we did the drill this time, I wasn't able to get it to seal quite as good as they did. They didn't have quite as much air leaking out around the mask. I think that's going to be situation dependent on how much of an impact you have when you hit the water. It's also going to be individual dependent on how well your mask fits your face, that type, how good of a seal you have, that type of thing. I had a little more air flowing around the mask, but as far as usefulness of it, I, could, I felt as if I could breathe just fine. At no time did I feel like I was getting water in the mask or that my uh, breathing was getting interrupted. One thing that uh, Lieutenant Cross and I found underwater was that when I applied pressure to the front of the mask, it reduced a lot of the leaking. It still leaks a little bit of the exhalation, but it, it, uh, it reduced it significantly. Going in off the dock um, with the SCBA in place, s simulates situations where you've got a, a dock that's a little bit further off the water. Impact definitely knocks the helmet loose, your SCBA mask comes a little bit loose. Uh, it wasn't anything where it compromises breathing. Still air gets to you. No water comes into the mask, but it is disorienting, especially as, as Lieutenant Cross found underwater. It stirs up the water, a lot of aerated water around you, uh, disorienting, kind of rings your bell a little bit when you go in, but you do float up on your own. So even if you do get disoriented with the PFD in place, it writes you, you end up coming up head first. Again, your air is not compromised, it's just more disorienting and it will knock things loose a little bit. Extricating the person from the water is a significant challenge. As we found uh, with, with, uh, with Captain Ingram helping me from the water, um, 
very heavy, so much so with SCBA in place that uh, both of us pulling pretty hard. It was a significant struggle just to get me up onto my stomach. Um, very, very heavy. And uh, that was also uh, an example of that was made when, when we looked at the difference between just a turnout jacket, dry, and then saturated with water. After the swimming pool, the experiment moved to a community of floating homes on the Columbia River. Firefighter Souls falls off the dock while wearing a PFD under his turnouts and SCBA. He is able to swim a short distance back to the dock against a light current. After about two minutes, he noticed that he was starting to lose muscle control due to the cold water. He needed the assistance of two firefighters to get back onto the dock. He did not sink. He was able to move through the water to some degree, and his SCBA provided him an adequate air supply throughout his time in the water. You will float with turnouts. You will float better with a PFD, and you will float best with a PFD under your turnouts. In addition, it will not interfere with your gear. You can breathe underwater with a mask-mounted regulator system. It took 30 pounds of lead weights to hold firefighter soles underwater in the pool. Due to the cold, in two to three minutes, self-rescue becomes difficult from cold water. Your gear will not work against you, but you need to get where you can be rescued. A wet firefighter is a heavy firefighter. Your turnouts will become saturated with water and it will take two to three rescuers to pull you onto the dock. The best way to get someone out of the water is to just grab and pull them up any which way you can. Hopefully this video dispels some of the myths about turnouts and SCBA in the water. We have shown that you will float, you can breathe, and you will not sink. Good luck, be safe, and thanks. Just a reminder, the use of turnouts around water is for firefighting purposes only.